The folks who live here tell me they're scared, but the only way for them to stay warm is to do things that aren't safe. They're running several space heaters, running their stoves and their ovens, but they say they don't have a choice. It's do those things or freeze. And I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Bundled up. She's too. Dinner boiling on the stove. Hey. Space heaters running nonstop. I got heaters in every room. The oven too. It's inhumane. This is what it looks like to call Parkview Tower Apartments home. I have to boil water and put it in the tub or boil water and put it in the sink in order you know, to wash up and stuff. Residents know it may not be safe. I'm scared to keep running my stove, carbon monoxide. It's just ridiculous. It has been this way since November 12th, according to the people who live here. Here's the sign posted in their halls now. They'll make it look like they're going to go ahead and do right. And then the next thing we know, a few months later, we're right back where we started. And it's more than uncomfortable. It's against the city's heat ordinance. From September 15th through June 1st, landlords are required to keep units at 68 degrees during the day and 66 at night. They can be fined $500 a day per unit. Every Parkview Tower resident told us they filed some kind of complaint. I've been calling 311. I've been calling emergency maintenance. So I followed up on all of them. The regional manager of the building did not want to go on camera, but claimed the issues have been sporadic. Third Ward Alderman Pat Dowell confirmed she's looking into complaints filed with her. And at one point, the heat was working, but now she's going to push the out of town building owner to make some real repairs. Now I'm told inspectors will be back out to check on these issues. The manager of this building tells me the part they need to get the hot water up and running is supposed to be here on Wednesday, so we'll follow up and see if all of that happens. Reporting in Bronzeville, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.